This is hotel management. Just wanted to speak with you for a moment. Hi, so sorry for bothering you, sir. You remember me from the front desk, right? I'm the hotel manager. <laughs> of course you remember. How could you forget? You were staring at me the whole time. Oh, you look pale as a ghost. I didn't frighten you, did I? <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, yeah, just being over eight feet can be such a bother sometimes. I have to bend down just to see you through the door frame. I didn't mean to get in your personal space. I'm just here to check up on you, see how you're doing. What do you mean? It's perfectly normal for hotel staff to check in on their guests. How else are we supposed to know if we're providing them with quality service? Well, sure, you've only just got into your room, but it's important to make sure our guests are settling in properly, don't you think? We we wouldn't want their vacation to start off on a bad foot after all. See? You understand. So, do you need help with anything? Is the room to your liking? I could get you some extra amenities too, if you think you need them. Oh, that's sweet of you to help, but really, it's, it isn't a bother. In fact, I personally enjoy taking care of guests very much. There's nothing quite like having a small, helpless boy rely on you. <coughs> I mean, helping your valued guests <laughs> acclimate to their new environment. Now, may I step inside? I can see that your suitcase looks like it's really <laughs> ready to burst. I think it would be the best to start by helping you unpack. You must be exhausted after your trip here after all. <laughs> oh sweetheart, you don't have to pay for a very special guest like you. This service is absolutely free. No, no, don't get up. A mommy will get the suitcase and unpack it for you. Don't you move her muscle. Oh. <laughs> You're looking a bit flushed. I'm sorry, sir. I've just always had a strong, motherly instinct. It doesn't bother you, does it? <laughs> Good. Uh, don't worry about a thing, cutie. Mommy will take care of it. Actually, about this. Hey, shh, shh. Don't freak out. I'm just picking you up for a second. Wrap your arms around my neck. Just like that. Oh my, are you blushing? You are too cute. Hold on to me, honey. I'm gonna put you down over here. There, you just have a seat on the dresser and let me get your things for you. <laughs> wow, you look so tiny sitting there. Your face doesn't even reach my chest. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not trying to tease. I just think it's cute. <laughs> yes, cute. Now, let's get your things in order. I'll just <laughs> grab that suitcase and let's see. T-shirts, shorts, sandals. I think I'll just arrange these into piles. Would you like me to put them in a dresser for you? Oh, see something you like, sir? Mmm, your face looks even redder than before. No, sir, I'm not mad. Not at all. <laughs> Sp spread your legs. <laughs> oh, so I can get to the drawer, silly. I'm just putting your clothes away. What did you think I meant? Hey, why do you keep looking away? Does it make you uncomfortable when mommy crouches down between your legs? <laughs> you need to open your legs wider, sir. Here, let me help with that. Mm, your legs feel nice. You don't mind me touching them, do you? Mm, good boy. May your legs feel really, really nice. 
do you look out? <laughs> Say, do you mind if I go up higher to your inner thighs? <laughs> Such nice thighs. Oh, I think I see something I like. <coughs> Anyways, let's get these clothes put away. There, and there, and there. Hmm? Oh, I'm just organizing your clothes in the drawer, sir. Be sure to remember which one is which, okay? I've got a couple of piles to go, so pay close attention to what Mommy's doing. Now for the rest. Socks. Shoes. Underwear. I think I'll just keep from myself. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how I'm gonna organize all this. Okay, now give me some room again. <laughs> Good boy. I didn't have to even move your legs again. <gasps> Sir, did you just put your hand on my head? Just instincts, hmm? A likely story. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I didn't say stop. But all you have to do is ask Molly for mission next time, okay? Oh god, this guy gets so funny spots. <laughs> Good boy. And that's all your clothes put away. If you'd like, I can organize your toiletries as well. I saw the cologne you had in there, by the way. A very good choice. Oh, <laughs> I, what are you on? Are you tired, sir? Oh my, I see. Such a long flight. The jet like you're feeling must be so overwhelming. I think you need some rest. Here, I'll just put your suitcase aside to give us some room on the bed. Okay, stay still. Mommy's got you. Mm. Oh, are you trying to bury your face into my neck? <laughs> hey, that tickles. Mm, such a shy boy. Is mommy really that intimidating? Oh, uh, not at all. Well, I'm happy. Sir is so comfortable around me. In that case, you can nuzzle into me as much as you like. Anything to make sir comfortable. You're a sweet boy. I don't mind in the slightest, I told you. I enjoy taking care of people. And with the way you're clinging on to me, you're rubbing your small, cute frame against mine. Well, let's just say I'm getting something out of this as well. Now, let's get you in bed, sir. <laughs> Such a good boy. Your partner is a very lucky person. Oh? No partner? Just seeing anyone at all? I see. Good. <clears throat> uh, by the way, have I told you how adorable you are when you're embarrassed? I can feel the heat of your blush against my shoulder and... The way you hold on to me so desperately. Don't be bashful, sir. There's nothing wrong with a boy not liking when a big, strong woman carries him. Now, let's put you to bed, sleepyhead. <laughs> Such a sleepy boy. I wish I could hold on to him like this forever. Mm, seems like you enjoy that. With like that little whimper, it was so cute. Okay, now hold on. I'm gonna have to bend down pretty far to lay you on the bed. Don't let go until I say, alright? Mm -hmm. Such a good boy. There we go. There we go. The bed feels nice, right? Here, let me get the covers with you. 
What do you mean? Because I'm getting into bed with you. How else am I supposed to cuddle with you? No but, sir. You're a highly valued customer, and that means that at the end of a long, hard day, you deserve to slip into bed with a tall, loving woman who will cuddle you until you drift away into a peaceful sleep. And I'm that woman. So come here, lay on top of me. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Head on mommy's chest so she could play with your silky smooth hair. Good boy. Now wrap your arms with my waist. I'll lift them up a bit for you. Yeah, like that. There you go. Feels nice, doesn't it? <laughs> I bet it's been an exhausting day for you. A long flight to the hotel, a long way in the lobby for your room to be ready. And then when you finally get out here, you've got a giant woman trying to baby you. Must feel nice to finally lay down and let your body rest. You really don't mind me cuddling you? <laughs> That's so sweet of you, sir. I can't tell you how much I've been itching to take care of someone. Being the manager of the hotel is certainly a nice gig, but you're so detached from everything. It's nice to feel connected with a customer every once in a while. Very connected. <laughs> Speaking of which, how about some head scratches? You like that, sir? Feel my fingers weave through your hair, massaging your scalp. Ooh, you like that spot, don't you? <laughs> I'm so happy you're enjoying yourself, sir. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Anything for my most valued customer. Oh, did I let that slip? Well, this too. You are my favorite. I've never had a guest so receptive to my advances, even if you're a bit on the shy side. Oh, I think I know what you exactly mean. Mm -hmm. I know your type. You always try to act so big and strong because that's what the world wants from you. You have to be stoic, a fackable man. But deep down, you're just tired of having to be the strong one. You just want to be let loose and let yourself feel small and vulnerable and precious. You just want to feel cared for by someone strong and big and nurturing. And I can be that someone. I want to be that someone. <laughs> That's right, sir. Even if it's just for your stay here, I'll be your big, strong mommy. I'll spend as much time with you as you want. If you like. I'll even have to be someone else in my duties and then spending more time with you. Mm. And so, what do you say, sir? <laughs> Good boy. I knew you were special, so what would you like to do with mommy then? Oh, you. You just want to keep cuddling? No, no, that's perfectly fine. Great, in fact. I just expected something a bit more... <sighs> Never mind. I'd love to cuddle with you more, but let's switch it up a bit. Roll off me. That's it, and now turn around and scoot back up and get me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be the big spoon and snuggle you until you fall asleep. Let me wrap my arms around that delicious little body. 
such a good boy. Mm, you like mommy said pets? My god, Ellie, you deserve to be praised and have lot of affirmations as well. Mm, look at you, all curled up like a little baby. You're so small compared to me. You're like a little teddy bear, perfect size for hugging. It feels so peaceful, doesn't it? To be nestled up in bed with mommy, encircled by her warmth. And do you like how my curves surround your head while I spoon you? I can feel your cheeks getting warmer. You like getting spooned by mommy, don't you, sir? What are you on? Oh, and by the way, you just nuzzled into my chest. So precious. Go ahead and fall asleep whenever you like it, sir. I'll leave once I make sure you're fast asleep. I'll leave my cardio night desk when I leave. Just call me if you like some room service. Free of charge. Oh, and don't tell anyone else about this, okay? This will be our little secret. You're very important guest after all. It's only the manager gets to take care of you. And those <coughs> less experienced girls won't do it right. Only mommy knows how to take care of a sweet small boy like you. Hmm? You're so sleepy, baby. Speak up a bit. I told you, dear. You don't need to pay for it. Oh? You just want to give me a tip? Hmm. Alright, go on. Turn you around. Um, uh oh, Ram, what kind of tip are you talking about exactly? Hmm? Generous of you, the way you mash your soft lips against mine. Are you sure you're really that tired? <laughs> oh, only teasing, sir. Even if it takes you all night, I'll cuddle with you until you fall asleep. Shh. Don't fret about a thing. Mommy will take care of you all night during your vacation here. That's it. Rest your eyes, sweetheart. Enjoy your stay, sir. <laughs>